Chinnaswamy Subramanya Bharti was an Indian writer, poet and journalist, Indian independence activist and social reformer from Tamil Nadu. Popularly known as Mahakavi Bharti, he was a pioneer of modern Tamil poetry and is considered one of the greatest Tamil literary figures of all time. His numerous works were fiery songs kindling patriotism and nationalism during the Indian independence movement. You may wonder why I am speaking of this great Indian. Well, let me tell you, he is the reason why we celebrate Bharatiya Bhasha Devas each year on 11th December. Mahakavi Subramanya Bharati in his time was considered to be the bridge between the North and the South. Observing his Jayanti as Bharatiya Bhasha Utsav Day would once again strengthen the national unity. Therefore, as suggested by the National Education Policy 2020, students in the country are encouraged to participate in a fund projects or activities on the languages of India under the Ek Bharat Shresht Bharat initiative. This facilitates students to learn about most of the major Indian languages, starting from their common phonetics and scripts, their common grammatical structures, their origins, and the sources of vocabularies from Sanskrit and other classical languages, as well as their rich inter-influences and differences. They also learn about the languages spoken in different areas, the nature and the structure of tribal languages to say commonly spoken phrases and sentences in every major language of India and also learn a bit about the rich literature of these languages. Such an activity gives them both a sense of unity and the beautiful cultural heritage and diversity of India. There is a need to create language harmony to develop conducive environment for learning more and more Indian languages apart from mastering one's own mother tongue and an aptitude and attitude to love and enjoy the neighboring language. Learning or speaking another Indian language should be made a matter of prestige, a matter of joy and cherishing experience. In keeping with these objectives in mind today, we as the SMA family will celebrate Bharatiya Bhasha Utsav in various ways. Our scholars from classes 6 to 8 have brought cuisines from different parts of India in their tiffins. They will describe the food and also give its significance. Classics 6 to 12 will be a part of a quiz based on Indian languages, customs and traditions. Also, a few of our students from class 10 will represent different states of India through their costumes. I invite you all to be a part of this historical celebration and participate enthusiastically. Thank you. Having a quiz. All those who know the correct answer can come to the stage as soon as possible after hearing the question. In which state of India people dress in this costume? Punjab. Correct answer. What script is Punjabi written in? Well done. The correct answer is Guru Mukhi. Which two places in India have Punjabi as an additional official language? Which two places in India have Punjabi as an additional official language? Haryana and Punjab and Haryana. Punjab and Haryana. Which language 
is similar to concrete. In which state of India women dress in this outfit? Sugar level as it contains a lot of vegetables. It 
is featuring an originated from Odisha and it's a very healthy wholesome meal. It contains rice and other vegetables which are a great source of protein and fiber. This is a sticky chocolate. It is a in Bihar, so famous all over India. This is made from Satwata and wheat gold and chocolate is made from the brinjal and that. This is Puman Pulao, which is made up of basmati rice including nuts and vegetables. It is the most common and famous food of South North East Indian people.